Okay, let's talk about boils. Boils. I know how painful they are and how much they hurt. So, this is what I would do if I had boils. I would run down to the closest Walgreens. I would not pass go. I would not collect 200. I would look for the gold dial bar of soap. Why the gold dial bar of soap? Because it has a very special active ingredient in that is an antiseptic, okay? A lot of the soaps out there only have antibacterial. This is an antiseptic. The antiseptic, in fact, is so powerful that the hospitals, the doctors, they recommend the gold dial bar of soap before surgery and after surgery. And if you go into any hospital, what are you gonna see? by the stations where they start washing up to go to surgery. Chances are you will see a gold dial bar of soap. So, even the medical field knows how powerful the little gold dial bar of soap is because it has an active ingredient in that is an antiseptic. Now, where did this come from? The Miles Laboratory in 1967 is actually the first one that created this antiseptic. The first bar of soap that came out with this active ingredient in it was actually mixed with a lot of cane, a lot of cane. So, I just wanted to give you a little history behind the gold dial bar of soap and why it is so powerful. Now, a lot of people are gonna say oh, it has a lot of chemicals in it. Posh Mama says, if the benefits outweigh the chemicals, we're gonna do it. And it is very, very powerful for treating boils. Okay, the next thing you wanna get is a little thing of tea tree oil. I would recommend highly Guru Nanda tea tree oil. A lot of tea tree oils that you find in the supermarkets, in the they're not good. They have fragrances, they're just not as good. Why tea tree oil? It's antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral. Okay, there is nothing that's created in the labs that can hit all three of those elements in one shot. That is why I am such a strong advocate for tea tree oil for everything. Next in line after that is oregano oil oregano oil the same okay but it's a little harsher so lather up your dial bar of soap add a couple drops of tea tree wash your affected areas with that every single day now if you don't want to go get them lanced i have something for that too prid p-r-i-d it's a salve you can get it on amazon it's a drawing salve powerful drawing salve put a big glob of that over the affected boil put a gauze bandaid over top of that leave that on for 24 hours and when you take the bandit off the boil will start to drain now if you don't have access to prid and you have to order it and you don't want to wait onions will do almost the same thing cut a slice of onion put it over the boil put um, a god bandage over it and it will equally start to drain your boils okay again I am NOT a doctor this is not medical advice I have to start saying that after every video but hopefully that'll help some people out there that are suffering with a dehabilitating